So this just happened. And to celebrate 20,000 subscribers, Patreon is giving away free shipping. Limited time, conditions apply. Click the link for details. Alright, that's all I get. Don't you just hate it when you're looking for that one nut and your whole little just explodes? Still got the leaf on. I have been doing some work. The solar immersion is heating my hot water. So, we had some issues. We had one of my circuit breakers died. Cable through here. It is only a temporary setup. Two new circuit breakers here and two new circuit breakers here. So these ones are for the PIP. And they've got the 3 kilowatt panels and that's got the 1.5 kilowatt panels on it for now going up to there. Up to the PCM60X. So the new panels are doing 15.2 amps. What are these ones doing? 30 amps, 3 kilowatt of panels, 4.5 kilowatt hours of panels on here now, and 10.5 kilowatts of panels. I've also had to move the, the shunt from there to this side of the shunt trip, making that run and operate a little bit safer. And I also run into the problem, whereas I had the PCM60X coming into positive here, and then negative here. But of course then it wasn't going through the shunt and not giving me an accurate state of charge. So it's saying we've got about 20% there, but in reality we've got a lot more than that. So I'll have to reset all that today and get all that working. That's all still running really well. Cell 5. Cell 5 is starting to have issues and is now the, regularly the lowest pack. Um, and you can see the little at symbol underneath there. And I don't know if it's going to focus you f kebab. Cell 5 is the lowest cell. So we're starting to have problems with that and that was after I did a few tests yesterday. Um, grid charging this at 80 amps or something and we ended up going to almost just over 140 amps but unfortunately I didn't get that on camera and then cell 5 started getting hot so I pulled the pin and um, I stopped with that test this will be pulled out shortly I got the new solar panels up here just bodged up on the roof dodgy but it works so this is the east side of my house gets the most amount of Sun really early in winter so it'll be good to get some really early sun and get some charge back in the batteries even earlier in the day. The old cell holder's working well. The negative side facing outwards, tested or dead cells. Positive out, charged but not tested. I've got a bunch of these green ones. That's pretty fancy. The drill pack. We have been testing overnight with some fantastic results. All about 2,500 milliamp hours. Let's see if we can organise how we can get them transported around Australia. Bose packs king. That this time I'm going to use Repacker. After this happens, every time my batteries go flat, I'm going to give Repacker a try. You can click the link up here somewhere. All the bus bars made up there. Got to get cracking on some more soldering. Cat, cat videos get many subscribers.